but just in case you're visiting us for the first time, uh, we promise you this is going to be action packed. Uh, we're going to give you good, solid information uh, uh, while you're here with us today. Uh, my name is Carl White, uh, and I've got uh, I'm the uh, uh, founder of the Mortgage Marketing Animals and the Freedom Club. Uh, and we have uh, have here is my guest, uh, one of my uh, uh, somebody I partnered up with on the Facebook uh, marketing stuff. This is Chris Johnstone. Uh, Chris and I met probably well, some years ago. And uh, just so everybody knows, Chris has been my go-to guy, my own personal go-to guy uh, for all things Facebook and marketing and how to turn uh, actual Facebook eyeballs into closed loans. Uh, Chris has been my go-to guy for years and years and years. Absolutely brilliant at what he does. He's a very humble guy. Um, he wouldn't say anything, so I would. I, I, there is no second person uh, for me, just personally, Chris, and you know that, and and I and I appreciate you being here. So, what are we? What are we gonna? What uh, what, what what are we gonna talk about here today, buddy? So, how to generate mortgage closed loans from Facebook, and just like you were, we were just chatting about the the targeting, the ad copy, the landing pages. I'm, I've got everything all kind of you know cherry picked out our best ads, our best targeting. I've laid it all out so that you can attend the presentation take it, launch your own campaigns. And then I've got some, uh, some other really cool information. We're actually going to be launching something uh, brand new on today's webinar. This is the first time we've ever talked about it publicly. And I'm just so excited because it's making a massive impact on the results that we're getting at the back end of not only our campaigns, but a lot of the other lead generation sources that a lot of our clients are working with. So uh, if it's okay, I'll just hop right into it, Carl, if that's all right. Let's do it. Awesome. So, uh, so here's our plan. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the proven campaigns. I'm going to walk you through three successful campaign walkthroughs. These are active, they're live right now, and they're actually generating funded loans for our clients. Just walk you through the whole thing, show you how to set it all up. Then I'm going to take you through the five biggest mistakes that I see all of the time that loan officers and mortgage professionals are making on Facebook. And I mean, this is just going to help you run more effective campaigns, save more of your budget, generate higher quality leads, and close more deals from the actual leads that you're getting. And once you see them, it's some of it is relatively simple stuff, but everybody is missing this. When we get on consultations, these are the big takeaways that people get from the free consultations that we offer. So I'm gonna take you through all that, and I'm gonna show you a guaranteed way to get results. I just wanna be completely upfront, Carl, and just let everybody here know that I do have a done for you service where we'll do all of this for you. And we'll chat about that at the end. It's not like super hype, you know, weird or anything. It's just, you know, some people don't wanna do this on their own. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. There's nothing left behind the curtain, but if you get to the end and you're like, hey, I just wanna close loans, I don't wanna do this, can you do it for me? I'll just give you some information on that as well, if that's cool. Cool. And, and by the way, uh, one thing uh, that we're going to be uh, talking about, and maybe, maybe, dude, maybe I'm jumping ahead of the gun here, and I know you kind of uh, mentioned it a little bit, is in the past and other trainings that you might have seen, uh, um, it, and there's great trainings, man. I, I'm, I'm not saying there's not. But they always, Chris, they always talk about how many leads I got, how many leads I got, how many leads I got. They never talk about how many closings somebody got. And, uh, and if you've watched, uh, if you've watched a training, one of mine and Chris's trainings on Facebook uh, advertising before, and you, uh, uh, I just want to let you know, this is going to have some brand new information like Chris just talked about, where it, it talks about a, a, a clever little twist that we figured, uh, that, we, that we discovered uh, that you can add on to your Facebook ad process, where finally you can start talking about closed loans not just I got 5,433 leads in the last 15 seconds uh, for, yeah. for po Facebook paid me uh, to do the ads kind of thing, yeah. you know? So uh, we're going to talk about um, how do you, how do you, the missing link that in, in my opinion, and Chris, I know you feel the same way. Can we talk about this? The missing link that everybody's missing up until now, where now you can actually start talking about how many closings you're getting, not just how many, how many leads you're getting that frankly, nobody's probably calling up on because they convert so low. We've totally cracked the code on that. Yeah. And made it actually less work. So you don't actually have to slog through all the calls. And hey, we're jumping ahead. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. I know. But, all, right. all right. So uh, not all leads are created equal. And the reason why I've got that on there is just simply because when you're running ads on Facebook, there's kind of like two methodologies out there right now. And one is like, okay, we're going to try and make like the craziest offer we can possibly make and generate as many leads as possible. And what we do is, is we take the mindset of, uh, we want you 
maximizing the results that you're getting with the minimum investment of time. So we want the greatest effort with the minimum investment of time. So when you're using some type of offer that is like a discounted interest rate or something, you know, that houses, you know, buy a house under market price or whatever, you generate a ton of leads, but you also get a ton of crap essentially that comes through that system. So what I'm going to show you how to do is position your advertisements in the marketplace so that you're seen as a leader. You're seen as the top tier of the industry so that as you're generating your leads through, these people know that it's a mortgage offer. They want to talk to you and they're a high quality borrower so that you may be generating less leads through your funnel, but they're all higher quality people. So you spend less time and get a better result. So in, in other words, what you're saying, uh, the, like when people are trying to sell loan officer leads, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the past, it's, it's, you know, almost always, it's something where on Google, somebody saw a banner, it said interest rates at 1.4% or president Obama or president Trump or who president Hillary or whoever, uh, has guaranteed to give you a loan. Even if you don't qualify, we're going to give you money to buy a house, click here. And then people put in these opt-ins being tricked into opting into something that's not actually true. And then those leads converted very poorly uh, because people were tricked into it. They would think they were uh, being handed out free hundred dollar bills and come to find out, Oh, you actually have to pay to buy a house. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's totally a, a, a part where a lot of people have screwed this up where instead in the ad, again, the ads we're going to show are going to actually be ads where people go, yeah, I'm interested in buying a house. And yes, I know that you're a loan officer. I'm putting in my information. I want you to call me or I want to call you and, and find out how do I get pre-approved for a mortgage. So these are not trickery ads. These are upfront ads, which starts a relationship. It's just the way you and I operate in the first place anyway. But it, uh, it, it starts the ad in the right frame of mind that you're actually there to provide a mortgage. Not, gee, I got the lead. They're thinking they're getting a brand new uh, Mercedes how do I change that conversation into, Oh, by the way, do you want to get a mortgage? And so yep. this totally is not that way. Yeah. That's it. And then all automated follow-up. I'm going to walk you through the follow-up sequence that we're putting these leads through to convert them. You're going to see the scripts. I'm going to show you the text messages. I'm going to show you the scripts. I'm going to show you the emails, the whole thing so that you can automate the follow-up process so that people are calling you. You don't have to call them right so um i'm basically going to drive you through three profit drivers which we call our campaigns here right i'm going to show you one campaign that generates real estate leads and obviously that's so that you can refer leads out to your real estate partners but also close the business then i'm going to show you how to go straight to market and generate mortgage leads these are people that are researching their mortgage and getting pre-qualified for a mortgage before they actually go through the process of finding a realtor so these are people that you can pre-qualify, uh, generate actual mortgage loans from, but also take that pre-qualification and use it to set up new realtor referral partners. And then I'm gonna show you this really cool thing that we're doing with retargeting and database marketing on your existing database, where we're using this really cool process that combines uh, CRM automation, pixeling, retargeting, sounds a little bit weird, but when she see it, it's super uh, simple. Um, to just generate more referrals from your past customers in a really cool way that just positions you beautifully in the marketplace. I think you're absolutely going to love it. So at this point in the presentation, I want you to shut the door to your office. I want you to take out your notepad, get ready, because this is where we actually dive into getting this stuff built in your business. And I want you to have this. This is very valuable information for you. This is where you're going to kind of turn up you know, if you haven't been successful with Facebook ads up until this point, you're going to be able to take one of these three campaigns and become successful with Facebook campaigns. And this is the start of it. So I need your attention and don't worry, it'll be worth it. So strategy number one, real estate buyer leads. This generates buyer leads and seller leads. The main source of deals coming through this campaign is the referrals that you're going to get from your real estate partners. And then the second source of money that comes into the business is from actually closing the loans that are coming through the system. And basically here's how this works. Okay. When we're advertising on Facebook, you've got to understand that even though you're targeting these people and we know that they're interested in real estate or they're interested in mortgages, and I'm going to give you the targeting here in just a second, you've got to understand that these people aren't going to the internet and searching for a mortgage lender. 
We know they're in market because of their behavior, but they're not in the mindset of, hey, I'm on my phone to get mortgage information. They're on their phone because they're surfing Facebook to hang out with their friends, their families, all the wonderful things. So knowing that, we've got to put these people through a process, a logical process to get them where we want them, which is ultimately your commission. So there's this timeline, right? So first, we're going to start at the interested stage. And by targeting, we know that they're interested in the marketplace because they're visiting mortgage websites, they're visiting real estate websites. Facebook's able to then target those people, right? Now, again, I'm going to show you how to set that up. Once you target those people, you're going to show them an ad that positions you as an expert in the marketplace, gives a clear call to action on an offer that has value to that person. In order to get the information that you're offering them, they're going to opt in, right? And I'm going to show you a lead generation campaign, a traffic campaign, and then uh, I've also got some really cool campaigns that are running right now using Instant Messenger. And, uh, and it doesn't matter how you get the contact information. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. The main point is that you get their name, their phone number, and their email address, and they are actively expecting a response from you so that you can actually get into a dialogue with them because once they opt in you've got to get them to a conversation that conversation leads to a pre-qualification that pre-qualification then goes out to your realtor referral partner right they go out they find them in the house they come back and that's when you get your commission. And, and chris stop here for just a second um so one area that we found a huge opportunity that was being missed on is as you're looking at this form here it was targeting the right people, here's what the ad looks like, and again, we're gonna show you all that. Uh, here's where they opt in, like the landing page, we're gonna show you all that. But then they were going, what, the mistake that everybody's been making in the past, uh, and myself included, right, I've, I've done this same thing, right? I, I didn't know until, you know, you, you and I kind of cracked this code on this uh, through a lot of testing, is we were going straight from opt-in to, hey man, so uh, let's start that application on a mortgage. So we're going straight from opt-in right to application. And we found that missing link with the conversation part and, uh, and how do we do that as a, uh, uh, using an automated system and we're going to show that. So when you're going from opt-in, you're, you're not going straight to application, you're starting with a conversation. And by the way, we have figured out how to extremely often get it so that conversation is, a, uh, is an incoming phone call or an incoming text message from them to you as a loan officer saying, yeah, give me some more information about the loan and give me some more information about how to apply. And we found when we inserted in that one little step here, which we're gonna show you in a few minutes, it totally changed everything. Like it was, the, it was the missing link that when we added this couple little drops of this secret ingredient, which again, we're gonna, it's not gonna be secret today because you're gonna see it. When we added that little secret ingredient, it, dude, it just totally changed everything. So, uh, so let's go into the targeting, man. T t tell us how do we do the targeting? Okay, let's do it. So when you go into Facebook inside the ads manager, okay, it's going to ask you what type of campaign that you want to run for this particular campaign. It's a lead form campaign. As soon as you tell it, you know, what the objective is of the campaign, it's going to take you and then you can choose your targeting. And this is where you're going to say, okay, I want people in this zip code or in this city or in this state, right? You get to choose the geography of where your leads are coming from. And then it's going to ask you for the demographic information. So you put the age in for this particular campaign. We're very broad. This is 25 to 55. So we're getting first time home buyers. We're getting move up buyers. We're getting the whole uh, marketplace into this. We're excluding people that are real estate agents or loan officers in your local marketplace. So your competitors aren't seeing your ads and your other realtor partners aren't seeing this advertisement. Just the real estate partner that you're working with knows that you're running this campaign with them. Then we're targeting people based on all of the different real estate interests and categories that we're going after. Uh, we're staying away from uh, um, uh, people that are just like general markets. So what I see a lot of people doing is they'll put things like refinance in here and, and all kinds of mortgage targeting as well. Keep this focus to just like very high level real estate, very high level mortgage and just take a screenshot of exactly what I've got on the screen here um, because that's what's working exceptionally well in this campaign that has thousands and thousands of dollars uh, in traffic being run through it. And we've essentially gotten rid of the different options that aren't working and this is what we're left with. So just take what's on the screen here. So Facebook is now 
watching what websites people are visiting and when they're on, let's say Zillow or Trulia or any of the real estate websites or they're looking at a mortgage calculator, Facebook, when somebody logs back into Facebook, that's what cookies are, right? They can see where you've been on the internet before you went back to that site. And they say, okay, this person, you know, two weeks ago, wasn't looking at real estate information at all. Now they've visited 10 different websites about real estates and they've checked out a mortgage calculator. When that person logs in and they're in your location that you've specified, your ad is then going to show up on that person. So, so another Chris, what you're saying is, and we've all experienced that, I go on like Amazon per se, and I go look at, um, I go on a website that, that sells visors, right, little yep. hat visors, and then, uh, shameless plug by the way, I, I don't know if you noticed that or not, <laughs> uh, for the Freedom Club, but anyway, I, I go on a website, I look for, I'm looking, I, I, I'm looking for visors to buy, and then when I go on Facebook, I see all these visor ads starting to pop up on my Facebook. So Facebook tracks what activity that we've been visiting on. And so again, this ad is being shown to people that they went to a, I'm looking to buy a house real estate site. And you've said, or in our ads, we say, all right, everybody that's done that activity, that's in the, in my case, 34683 zip code, show this ad or in this county or in this city or 10 miles around this circle or uh, only on this waterfront strip of homes because that's what I, I, I want to look get the higher end homes then they would see this ad and and that's nobody else would see this ad but them so I'm only paying pennies every time somebody views these ads and then once somebody sees this ad and they go yeah I'm interested in that they click on that what happens then Okay, so after they click on the ad, um, and this one's here for an, op an open house, right? There's this pop-up that comes up uh, on their screen. So it's either their mobile phone or their desktop. This is a Facebook-based uh, lead form, okay? So it's, it's not a third-party tool that you use. You actually build these inside your Facebook business page or your Facebook ads manager and when somebody clicks on that button this pops up and it pre-fills in all of their information from their Facebook account so when you have somebody that's on a mobile phone that's incredibly important because your their time to get the lead as long as people just have to click a button they'll, they'll do that but if they have to fill out a form on their mobile phone our opt-in rates drop significantly so this gives you a high quality lead. You know the information is good because it's come from their Facebook profile and they just have to tap the submit button and that lead is then generated, right? So they've, we've targeted them really well. We've shown them an ad that has value. And Carl, just a quick aside, to dive into why we're using an open house, it's because we're getting the highest quality lead possible. Our, our attempt is to get the highest quality lead possible. So we're talking about the quality offering that we're giving people. Somebody that is willing to get a list of open houses, get up off the couch, get in the car, drive to open houses all Saturday morning, that person is a very uh, likely borrower. Right. Rather than just, you know, giving them whatever and that lots of people lopped in for these people are actually in market. So we're targeting, we're targeting people that are out looking for houses uh, yep. because Facebook knows that because of that activity, by the way, where you drive and all that stuff is all tracked by Facebook. I mean, it just is people don't might not want to think about that, but as an advertiser, that's a good look. It, it, if you're driving in front of a pizza place and an ad pops up, you want a two for one pizza. It, it's a good thing. And even as a consumer, show me ads of things that I'm actually interested in and I'm, I'm interested. So if I'm out looking for a house, I, I want to get information. So we target those people. The ad says, Hey, would you like a list of open houses? And, and they go, yes. And by the way, you're going to show us like, like you guys provide, you don't have to go chase down realtors. Hey, I need, I need, uh, uh, I need a copy of all the open houses in our area. You guys want to, again, we're going to talk about that at the end here. We talked about that. You guys, give me that information here in three, four, six, eight, three or whatever area code you're in uh, of, of all the open houses in our area. There's a secret little website you can go to and you get that. So you don't have to rely on the agent to show that they go. Yeah, man, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see the open houses. And when they click on that to get the list, they have to fill this landing page out, which Facebook preloads with all their information. So we get the accurate phone number, we get the accurate email. 
in essence, Chris, what we talked about, and everybody knows I'm real big about this, man, that, you know, having a, uh, 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 working Monday through Thursday or Monday through Friday, taking the weekends off. People go, how do you do that? How do you do it? This is how you do that. So people say, well, I'm going to go to an open house, right? I'm going to spend my entire Saturday instead of being with my friend, uh, uh, going fishing or hunting or, or, or sitting on the beach or being with my family, my wife or husband or my kids or my mom or my dad or my buddies or whatever. Uh, no, I'm going to give up all that freedom and I'm going to go work at one single open house. I want you to understand, guys, when you're running this kind of an ad, you're not, you're not sitting at one open house. You can be sitting at 5, 10, 15, 20 open houses and getting the information all automatically. And then it, these people are expecting you to call them. Or, again, we're going to show here a clever little twist where they're actually going to call you on Monday uh, saying, hey, tell me more about that mortgage. So you're gathering all the information about people at these open houses at one, two, five, fifty, a hundred different open houses, all in different area codes, targeting very specific people uh, while you're out on the boat on the weekend. See, that's, that's the freedom of, of doing this stuff. So, all right, let's go into the stats, man. So, we, we, we targeted, we placed the ad, they landed on this. What's our stats so far on this one? Okay, so I pulled two campaigns in here. So, the first one up at the top, this is a, a relatively seasoned campaign. So we've got $2,300 in ads um, in this marketplace. That generated 952 leads through that campaign at $2.42 per lead. Uh, our other campaign is um, uh, in a larger marketplace, there's more competition. So ad costs go up. These, you know, it depends on the marketplace and how many people um, are bidding for that traffic. So this campaign has $2,119 in it. We're at $4.75 per lead. On that campaign, we've got 446 leads that have come through that form. So, um, and again, the cost per lead doesn't really matter. What matters is the closings that come out the back end of it. So, you know, you could, you could scale that and spend much more per lead. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the quality of contacts. What I wanted to really kind of show here is that this campaign structure hits a nerve with the marketplace. This is what they're looking for. And it's a very high quality offer that positions you really well in the marketplace. So as soon as those people opt in and you get those leads, okay, the old way of doing this was that you would have to either get the lead yourself and when you had time in between your hectic day, kind of call them at random so the leads wouldn't get that real-time follow-up or you would give them to somebody else right you'd give them to your assistant or your processor right and dan kennedy has this really cool saying where he's like you know giving your secretary a list of leads that came from a conference that you were just at or whatever it's like it's one step below like hey i've got to take the day off work and go get a root canal they'd rather go get the root canal than call the lead list right and so what we've done is we've eliminated all of that and we've put automation in place so that as soon as that lead comes in, we get together with you and we use a, a system. Uh, it's a slide aisle. So most of you will know what slide aisle is. It's an automated broadcast that goes out where you pre-record a voicemail specific to the offer, save it inside a CRM or an auto follow-up system and it immediately delivers that voicemail. So the person's phone will like chirp or not ring at all. And then they go, oh, hey, that mortgage professional called me back and they listen to the voicemail and I'm gonna give you the voicemail script here in just a second. You get that immediate follow-up. All the statistics show us that if you follow up with a lead in the first 15 minutes, your conversion ratio is going to be much higher. And it's just a very simple uh, phone call that positions you properly with that lead and they call you back as a result of it. Now, after we drop that ringless voicemail, 10 minutes after that, there's an automated text message that goes out that follows up the call. Because if you think about it, when you call a lead, you then should best practice, right? If, you know, you're going to send them a message. Hey, just left your voicemail. If you need a link, just let me know. Here's my number, right? And then an hour after they've opted in, we follow up with an email that makes sure that it says, hey, you asked for this offer, I'm fulfilling the obligation, and it positions you properly in the marketplace. All right, and so, we, so let, me, let me make sure I got this. So, so a, uh, we, we, we target the ads, people looking to buy. We say, hey, would you like a list of uh, open houses? 
and uh, and they click yes, and yeah. Facebook pre-populates their accurate phone number, their accurate email, says, hey, we're going to send you a list of the uh, of the open houses uh, this weekend, so you can go out and buy a house. Um, once they opt in, like a minute after they opt in, or two minutes after they opt in, they get a voicemail where they think they missed a call. So it's not like they're hearing, it's not like they answer the phone and hear a robo, robo dial. That's not what this is, is they think they missed a call because all of a sudden they get alerted, missed call voicemail. They listen to the voicemail. Again, we're going to go over the script here in just a second. And, but basically the voicemail says, Hey, I just need to, uh, uh, I need to confirm your email address or I need to confirm the zip code or I need to confirm something so I can get that list over to you. Uh, give me a call at which point they either a just being honest, ignore it or B they call you yep. to start the conversation. If they don't call you, then 10 minutes later they get a text. Hey, I got that list of open houses and this is all automated. While you're off with your fishing with your friends on the weekends uh, or while you're, uh, while you're at a closing or while you're having a coffee appointment with a real estate agent or while you're, while you're structuring your next deal, this all happens in the background all automatically that uh, they get a text like 10 minutes after that initial voicemail. Hey, uh, would you, uh, would you like, uh, is this a good time to chat about your mortgage? If they don't want to chat about the mortgage, they do nothing. If they do, they go, yeah, call me. This is a good time to chat about my mortgage. You call them up because they just said, please call me now, right? They weren't tricked into it. They call me now. If they don't answer, if they don't respond to the voicemail, if they don't respond to the text message, then an email goes out like an hour later. Hey, I, I left your voicemail. I just shot you a quick text. Um, is now a good time to chat. And again, you're not hearing no's to all this because if they say no, you, you don't hear anything because this has happened automatically. And that sequence happens day one, day two, day three, day seven, day 10, day 20, day 30, day 60, day 90, all this automatically following up while you're doing it. And this can be happening with hundreds and hundreds of incoming leads. You only get the yeses. And by the way, as soon as somebody responds to this thing, as soon as somebody says, so like if they text you, yeah, now's a good time to call. It stops the automation because they don't want you to be on the phone call talking with this person and they get another text. Hey, it's now a good time to call. They're, they're on the phone talking with you. So this thing is a smart thing that it automatically detects. Let's go into the scripts real quick. And then I want to make sure we show some of these other Facebook ads. So what is that? What is the script of that, uh, that voicemail that's immediately dumped? What does that sound like? Okay, so this is the voicemail. This is dropped in this particular campaign. So this is the open house campaign, right? So it says, hey, this is Chris. I got your request for open houses and I just need to confirm your email address that I can send that list right over to you. So if you could just call me back at this number or uh, just click call back as you're listening to this voicemail, I'll get that list that you need right over to you. Talk soon. And that's it. And that's a special phone number that, that tracks that if somebody calls that phone number, it automatically turns off all the campaigns because now you're talking to them. So see, see guys, here's the missing link on Facebook ads. Um, and and go, go, to the, go to the next one on the text. So the, the, the missing yep. link on the Facebook ads were um, not having a conversation. The idea is you as a salesperson, you want to have a conversation with somebody, but you want to have a conversation with somebody that says, yeah, call me now, or they just called you. Because again, they're getting this special phone number where if they call that number, Number one, it turns a campaign off so you're not sending weird messages when they're already talking with you. Uh, and then number two, your phone rings with an incoming phone call. Tell me about that mortgage. And uh, we have found this to be the absolute game changer. So after they get the voicemail, then they get a text. If they don't respond to the voicemail, they get a text. Hey, I got that information you need about open houses. Is now a good time to chat. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, if, they, if they don't answer to that, then they get, what happens next, Chris, if they don't answer that? There's an email that goes out an hour after the opt-in. So they've got a voicemail, text, now the email. First name, you requested some information about open houses in our area. The home that you're looking for, is this going to be your primary residence or an investment property? I need to know so I know which list to send to you. Just reply back and let me know if later today or tomorrow morning is the best time so we can chat and get over that report that you need. You can also. So again, the whole idea is to get on the phone and start having a conversation uh, with them. So uh, let's, let's talk about the scalability of, of the leads on this, Chris. So 
this is crazy because now the system is doing all of the work. So, I mean, we've had clients of ours that I've, so I, I worked with a company that was massive. They would buy all of the leads that we could possibly generate. And they were putting together rooms of people, filling rooms with people. And they had like recruiters that they had, and they had this massive overhead just to staff these rooms of people. Now, you don't have to worry about staffing. You don't have to worry about the process. You just have to be able to answer the phone, take the app, work through the actual leads. It's like a cherry picker, right? Those, the, the low hanging fruit that sits on the tree, the system just sits there and just hands the leads off as they're ready because that's another big problem with Facebook leads. When you generate a lead from somebody, they're interested in real estate, but their purchase path is all over the place, right? When somebody opts in for this information, they could be looking to buy something this weekend or they could be looking to buy something in a year. There's people at all different stages of that path. And I see so many mortgage professionals leave so much money on the table because the long-term follow-up has just as much profit in it as the first 30 days. Or more. Most people, or more, right? So it's human nature and it's not, it's not your fault. It's not our fault. It's just human nature that the phone gets heavy, right? That's, I mean, come on, since sales has existed, there's been books on how to get over call fatigue and calling your leads and all that kind of stuff. There's businesses built just around that, right? What this does is eliminates all of that so that your follow-up is just as good nine months from now when that lead is ready as it is today. And it's way better than all of your competition today so that you get the leads and the closings that are ready to go right now. You've got the right targeting. You've got the right people coming through the funnel. You've got the right follow-up. You've got the right positioning. You've got everything sequenced out like you're this massive multi-million dollar business, but it's just you and everything's automated. It's just, I'm, this is so cool. So let's show the compounding effect from month to month. So if you're running $15 a day and just $5 a lead coming through the system, month one, you put 90 leads into that system. Keeping in mind that now you don't have to make 90 outbound phone calls, right? You just sit, the system works the leads and the leads that are quality are calling you back, right? By the time you get into month 12, you've got 1,080 contacts in that database automatically nurtured, automatically followed up on when they're ready for that mortgage pre-approval, they're reaching back out to you. Now, check this out. You're probably going out and looking for new realtor referral relationships, right? Think of a year from today, looking back at where you're at right now. You've got this huge wall that you've got to climb over every single time you have an appointment with a realtor. What are you going to take to them? What are you going to offer to them? Imagine walking into that appointment with a database of a thousand leads that you're in communication with on basically a weekly basis that want to hear from you. And you're getting responses from those people day after day, week after week, you walk into a realtor appointment and be like, Hey man, I have this completely automated system that's following up on all of our leads with high quality information. Would, would you like some of these pre-approvals? Yeah. I got a database of a thousand people that we're marketing to right now. And we're going to continue to build that database. You want it? Right. So it, what, totally. what, 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 what really gets me going is uh, as we see here on the next slide is these aren't just like in this case or in this. And again, this is just an example. Uh, in this example where it was uh, like over a thousand leads coming in, this isn't just like boomtown leads. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's nothing, this is not like boomtown leads where you're getting 5,000 leads and nobody's talking to the system that we're talking about, the automation system where it, 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 it does the, the voicemail, the texting and the email, it starts conversations with these people. And as we can look at the numbers here, we're get having we're seeing conversation rates of 37%, 50%, 46%, 71%. And while this is just an example, this is typical. This is typically what we're seeing. And so if you're, you know, imagine using the example of the 1080 leads, you know, uh, 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 that you're working on this. And even if we take the lowest of the low that we got here of 37%, uh, conversation ratio. And I would say the average is higher than that. I just picked the lowest one that we've, we've got right here. Dude, that would be four, actually be 399 conversations that you can be having with people that, yeah, man, tell me more about that mortgage. So these are not 
these, these, these nasty leads that nobody wants to call on. You call them. I don't want to call them. You call them. Loan officer says, I don't want to call them. Realtor, you call them. Realtor says, I don't want to call them. You call them. This is not that. These are people that you're actually having conversations with. And people say, well, what's the close ratio of these? Well, I would always say, you tell me, if you're talking with 399 borrowers, what is your conversation? What is your closing ratio with those? Mine's pretty high, right? Mine's pretty high. And so how many leads would you close? I don't know if you're talking to not, if you're speaking to 399 people that have reached out to you says, tell me more about that mortgage or, Hey, I'm out looking for houses this weekend. How many of those would you normally close? And, and, and that's what we use as our benchmark. So I know we have a dear friend of ours, Adriana. Let's talk about what Adriana was doing. Okay. So, uh, so we set this up in her business and uh, she got to experience kind of like both paths. So we did it without automation and then we did it with automation. And this is the results of, of not even running the full system on automation. So uh, we generated 442 leads through the open house campaign for her. Roughly 18 of those leads have been referred out to the real estate partner. So those are people that called back said, yeah, I'm interested in the offer but I want to talk to a, a realtor. I, you know, I'm, I'm interested in the real estate portion of this. So that's a referral where they're able to say, you know, call up realtor partner that they're either working with or set up a new appointment and be like, Hey, I have somebody who's interested in this. So 18 referrals essentially that they put out there. Nine of the leads have been pre-approved and we feel there's still more to come from the database. So nine of those 18 actually went through the pre-qualification process, had good credit, fit in the box, they're going to be a good borrower and they've got them pre-qualified now looking at homes. We've been able to use the pre-approvals to set up four new relationships with realtors that were not sending us business before. So I'm assuming that from the 18 quality leads that they had that came through, or maybe just the nine pre-approvals, they use those to open up new coffee appointments, go out do the coffee appointment and then get them on board. So four new realtor referral. Uh, relationships as a result of the program, which is 442 leads at an average cost of just under $5 uh, per lead on that campaign, which is pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's go into loan strategy number two, mortgage leads. So these are high quality mortgage leads that are in market. The main source of deals or money that's going to come into the business is actually closing these mortgage leads. And then the secondary source of deals is the referrals that come through. Now, again, we're using this similar targeting to before, but only high quality real estate, like people that are visiting Zillow or they're interested in real estate and then mortgage targeting, right? Just put in mortgage, loan officer, people that are interested in those topics, right? Then we show them this ad. Now, it's basically an offer for the top three things that people want. So what we did is we took uh, the survey data. So all these large companies go survey mortgage customers after they get a mortgage and they say, well, did you use, what was the most useful tool to you in your mortgage purchase? And they said a mortgage calculator an affordability worksheet and current interest rates. So we package that together into a PDF and offer it to them. So again, high quality targeted traffic and an offer that sets you apart from the competition. No shenanigans, just high quality information. They see that ad and they say, yeah, I want that. They click on the button and we then direct them to a landing page. Okay. Then this landing page or opt-in page, people call these all kinds of different names. The whole purpose of this page is to get the person to give you their name, their phone number and their email address. So it mirrors the advertisement, right? Because we know they clicked on the ad. So they're most likely to fill out the form. They click that big yellow button. There's a pop-up that comes up. They put in their name, their phone number, their email address, and then they click submit, right? Now this free report, just a quick aside here, Carl, uh, we basically have this as a template where we've pre-built the mortgage calculator, pre-built the financial affordability worksheet, and lo and behold, the only way to get access to current interest rates is to get on the phone with a mortgage lender to actually go through the pre-qualification process. So we're giving them useful information and then having them call in to actually use the tools that we're giving them. So they opt in and the key to growth with these leads, 
is automating that lead generation follow up on the back end and answering the incoming calls and texts because these people right here that opt in specifically for mortgage information and specifically for the tools they're looking at a property so they they haven't said okay i want to buy a house in southern florida they're I'm trying to figure out if with my current job and my current down payment, I can buy one, two, three main street. So they've got the property, they're ready to go and there's nobody helping them with their mortgage. Okay. So there's no higher lead that you can get that these people are saying specifically, don't tell me about the house. Tell me about the mortgage. Tell me what exactly. my payments would be. Tell me uh, what, what price range, make sure I'm looking in the right price range. And again, once they click on the ad, and put their information in the box there that, that Facebook provides that um, like, and, and then when you do an automated system, you drop a voicemail in their, in their cell phone where they think they missed a call. Uh, hey, I need a, a little bit of information. Uh, is this an investment home or is this a primary residence that you're looking to buy? Just getting them on the phone so you can have a conversation. These are incoming phone calls. These are people texting you saying, please call me, tell me about the mortgage now. So this is not like you're, you're calling somebody at dinner time and they're going, who the hell are you? And I don't, I don't remember opting in. This is where they're saying, hey, uh, give me a call. So, uh, so it's a much, much, much higher quality lead than anything you'd likely ever had before on online lead generations. Really cool stuff. Okay, so here's our stats on that particular campaign. So we've got $3,903 spent inside this particular campaign. We have lots of these campaigns running. 280 leads that have come through that funnel. Average cost $13.94 per lead coming through that campaign. So again, a little bit more than the real estate leads, but a much higher quality lead that actually wants to talk to a mortgage lender. So um, this is one of our clients, Mel, who's been running this campaign uh, for years. And these are his numbers from last year. So this is a year long case study on this particular ad campaign and his ROI over the year, which is return on investment. So if he puts a dollar in, he gets $5 and seven cents back on that advertising spend from Facebook. Um, so obviously thrilled with the campaign. And again, Mel uh, doesn't like the, the automated follow-up sequence. So, that we're getting even better response from the follow-up sequence, he doesn't even use it. He just does a very simple, like the lead comes in, he calls them twice. That's his follow-up sequence, that's the way he wants to do it, but those are his numbers just from running that campaign structure without the automated follow-up on the back end. So loan getting strategy number three, this is database and retargeting. And I'll go through this reasonably quickly here, um, just because I know uh, that we've got some the five tips that I really want to give you here. So uh, this targeting goes out to your past customers. So you upload those custom audience to Facebook, your database, uh, just like your warm network goes in as a custom audience on Facebook. And then you place a pixel on your website, a Facebook pixel so that anybody that visits your website then starts seeing your ad on Facebook and you run four different types of ads inside this campaign. You run success ads, which are, uh, Success stories about your business, where you're showing your staff or just yourself, simple success stories. Branding with your phone number, your logo, you, your picture, all that kind of stuff. Testimonials from your past clients and customers, and then direct calls to action. Like if you're in the market for a mortgage or one of your friends, call me or just tag a friend in this, uh, in this post, right? And the, the way that you get the leads back are all over the place because people are seeing your website, they're seeing your phone number, they're seeing your email address, they're seeing all kinds of things. So you get phone calls, you get emails, you get direct messages right through your Facebook business page, and then people filling out the web forms on your website. So when you go into the targeting, inside your Facebook ads manager account. Rather than choosing interested in real estate or interested in mortgages, you're going to create a custom audience. And then once you've created that custom audience, you just go to custom audiences, <laughs> click on past customers and website traffic and warm database, put them all into that category, and then just run the four different ad sets. Right? So let me make sure I got this. this. So, uh, so this is for my past database. That's right. So either I can, I can A, upload into Facebook my past database, which they don't share with anybody. I can upload them into uh, Facebook. Uh, or if you've been to my website, 
those two people. So either A, you've been to my website or B, you're in my past database of closed loans. Yeah. And I upload that and then I place ads, which is basically like a billboard on the side of a highway that only the people that's my past database, only the people that's been to my website, only those people see those ads. That's right. And, and basically what it is, it's kind of a way of digitally sending a monthly mailer to my past database, which we, know, we all know converts to loans, that for yep. pennies, literally for pennies, we can be marketing to our past database, which basically just saying, as we're seeing on this ad here, hey, I'm a great guy, I'm a nice guy, I took care of you in the past, we're having great success. Basically, a billboard, except instead of spending $5,000 a month, we're only showing it only to those people for pennies yep. that, uh, that are our past database. So I love, this is a great way to market to your past database, which by the way, it can also integrate in with giving them a phone call three, four times a year using the automated system, even if they don't go onto Facebook. That's it. Cool Which stuff. Cool. So uh, we're seeing on average kind of a deal a month coming from a past customer database for just $5 a day. So now the top five mistakes. So the number one mistake that I see people making when they're running Facebook ads is they're not tracking their metrics. They're just like putting money into Facebook ads, thinking that leads are coming out, but they don't really know what phone calls are coming from Facebook, what's not, how many leads are they generating, what's your cost per lead. People have no idea what the actual metrics are. They're spending money without calculating return on investment. So these are the five things you have to track if you're running Facebook ads. And again, uh, you know, when we do this for our customers, we report on all this, right? So we give you your cost per lead. Here's the total leads that you got. Now you have to track of those leads, how many turned into conversation. Our new system tracks that for you. Not only does it generate the phone call, but it you can see a report of how many how many mess, how many messages how many messages went out, replies that came back, how many phone calls did you get? You got to track that stuff, right? Then conversation to applications so of the people that you're talking to. How many people are you pre-qualifying and taking into an app? And then of those applications, how many of them are funding? And then what is your commission that you generate from that? minus your advertising spend and your management spend and calculate your ROI. When you start tracking those numbers on a monthly basis, Facebook immediately stops being overwhelming and it becomes a very simple mathematic calculation of dollars in and dollars out and Facebook becomes super fun to invest in every month. But if you don't know the math, it's just this ether out there that's scary. Math gives you the power or to properly invest in your advertising. So you've got to be tracking your numbers. Number two, you're not optimizing. And I'm not saying you specifically, but pretty much every single account that I go into, they're either boosting posts on their business page, which is like, like there's no campaign metrics they're tracking. You're, throwing money out the window. Don't, money don't the window. do that. And then it's either like one ad set with one ad inside of it. There's no split testing. There's nothing like that. So you have to optimize your campaign. And what I mean by that is continually target the same audience, but use different images and use different copy to find what resonates with the marketplace in your local marketplace. By finding that ad copy that works, that gets double the clicks or triple the clicks or like a quadruple the clicks, you can greatly increase the quality of leads that you generate, but also reduce the cost that you have to spend for those leads. So this is one of our accounts. We went in, they were spending, you can see down at the bottom, they were running these website conversion rate ads. They were spending $61 and three cents for every uh, lead that came through that system. We came in, we were able to take that down to $11 and 27 cents per lead that they were generating in their business. Same type of lead, same traffic, just properly optimizing. So you've got to be going in and optimizing these campaigns. Otherwise, Facebook's going to take that money, right? So you've got to have optimization. Number three, you've got to test multiple ad sets. So that's targeting. So when you're running a campaign, be targeting first-time home buyers, be targeting move-up buyers, be targeting just females, just males. Because when you break it down and do individual targeting, tracking your metrics, Facebook will show you, hey, females are responding to 80% of your offer, where males are only 20%. Just run your traffic to females in that marketplace, right? And then test multiple ads. So you've got to have different images and you've got to have different copy to find what resonates with that marketplace. So you've got a campaign that has a goal, 
You've got an ad set where you're targeting all different types of people at the ad set level. And then in each ad set, you're testing at least three ads across that marketplace so that you can lower your cost per lead over time. So that's number four. Number five, automate your follow-up. Absolutely, this has made a massive impact in the test accounts that we've done. This is the first time that we've ever announced this system. And I'm gonna go so far as to say that you should be automating the follow-up systems of all of your realtors. You should be following this process across all of the different lead generation campaigns that you're paying for. So I'll, I'm gonna announce here in just a second that we're, we're gonna build all this for you, right? But it's not just our campaigns. We've got individual follow-up campaigns for every single type of ad campaign that we run on Facebook. We were only able to cover three today, uh, but we've got over 10 campaign types that work and actively generate high quality leads. Plus, you're probably investing in Zillow leads. You're probably investing maybe in, you know, there's all kinds of different lead platforms out there. It doesn't matter what it is we can integrate with it and have pre-built follow-up sequences based on that type of lead. So, so, so what you're talking about here so is talking about here this uh, automated follow-up follow system, follow system that the real estate agents can be having uh, like Boomtown leads or Zillow leads and they automatically go into this system. The same leads that nobody's calling on right now, they want you to call and then you're paying for the ads, you want them to call because nobody wants to follow up that when you import those leads into this system, just like you're doing your Facebook ads now that yep. these, these conversion rates that we're seeing on these boomtown leads, these Zillow leads, because it all happens automatically, uh, we're seeing 37, 50, 46, 71% conversation ratios. Uh, and that has totally changed everything. So instead of waiting one or two or three days or a week, to follow up on these leads and these people have no clue what you're talking about when you call them, these people that we're using, uh, using this automated system is they get a, a voicemail one minute after they opt in, just immediate saying, hey, give me a call. And the people that respond to that actually call you. Uh, if they don't respond back 10 minutes later, they get a text message. Hey, is now a good time to chat? And they text yes. And you actually talk with them or an hour later. And this happens day one, day two, day three, day seven, day 14, day 20, day 30. This thing is a lead converting machine, no matter where the leads are coming from, because it's all automated. It's all automated. automated. Now. So, uh, really cool thing that you've got here. Can I, can I, can I segue you into this? I love, I love this concept. Um, so Carl taught this to me and it's made a massive impact in my business it's called the director of who and it, it just totally 180 my mindset on how I approach uh, our business. And I, I just, I love this, Carl. Uh, take it away. All right. So, All right, guys, so if guys, you get nothing else from today's nothing. class, which there's been a lot of good stuff here, get this part. This has been a game changer for me too, Chris. So um, I have in my office uh, what I call my director of who, and this is uh, the wonderful Miss Diane that we're seeing here. And uh, one of our Freedom Club uh, coaches, uh, Scott Ranger, her husband, uh, Diane is my director of who. And as we look at this next slide, um, what I mean by that is the mistake that I've made in the past. And I promise you on this call today, you've probably made the same mistake too. Like I'd say everybody makes the same mistake. Everybody makes the same mistake. That we go, we go. All right, all right. Why do we want to write more money? Right? And, and, and right. for me, it's legacy. Like I'm creating legacy. more of a legacy, but it might be you want to buy a bigger house or you want a college fund or security or take more vacations. Just imagine why you would want to make more money, close more loans. And then you go, all right, what am I going to do? How am I going to, what am I going to do to close more loans? And, and let's say in this case, because of what we're talking about today, it's Facebook marketing, right? Or it's the conversion of the Boomtown leads or the conversions of the Zillow lead. Like that's my what. What am I going to do to make that happen? But here's a mistake we've made in the past, Chris, is then we go, all right, how do I do it? How do I do it? And let's face it, everybody on this call is looking to how to do this or how to do it better. You wouldn't be on this call still here, you know, uh, uh, close to an hour into this, right? And the problem is we spend all the time figuring out how. And as we look at the, on the left-hand side, that scale, that might be hours, days, weeks, hours, months, days, even years, in my case sometimes, years. trying to figure out how to do something. Once we figure out how to do it, then we do it and we're done. The actual doing in the done doesn't take that long. It's the how that takes that long. So you might've been trying to figure out how to do Facebook ads here for the last 10 years that they've been doing it. 
and, and you're going how, how, and you still haven't maybe figured out how to do it successfully. I'm going to tell you right now, asking how, just being honest and respectful of you, it's the wrong question. What I've learned in my business, Chris, I know in your business too, is we don't ask how, we ask who. Who can help me with this? Because then we go from why I want to I want to provide for my family, what I'm going to be running Facebook ads. Instead of saying how do I do it and wasting all that time, I go, who can do this for me? And then I'm done and I get the results. So that's your segue, Chris. <laughs> right on. So that is, and we mentioned this right up front. Would you like me and my team to do everything for you? And what we do is we take care of everything. So I've got three campaigns included in everybody's account. So you can pick a real estate campaign, you can pick a mortgage campaign, you can do the retargeting campaign. And we've also got, if you're specific to, let's say refinance or VA or any of those specific things, we have campaigns that convert for that. And we've got automated follow-up sequences pre-built to convert those leads for you all ready to go. So if you've got another type of lead that you're looking to bring through your business, chances are we've already got that figured out for you. So this is perfect for you. Custom campaign targeting, ad set creation, custom images, proven coffee, full retargeting setup, pixel integration on your website, uh, retargeting sequences for the people that have opted in. You get a dedicated account manager. You can call the 1-800 number at any time. Our company, Connection Incorporated, we're up to 19 full-time people that do just this. We only work in the mortgage industry. We only work with loan officers. We love this business. We've got this thing dialed in. We would love to work with you. And then every month, as I mentioned, campaign optimization and reporting so that you know how much you're spending per lead, how many leads came through, how many people called you back, the whole thing. Now, I've also got a special bonus for you. So this brand new printing press automated follow-up system, we're going to integrate the whole thing with your Facebook account, and we will integrate it with all of the other lead generation systems that you're working with right now. So that's any real estate buyer campaigns, any real estate seller campaigns that you're going right now, any mortgage application uh, campaigns that you're running right now. And we've got a long-term nurture campaign. Carl, you and I didn't really talk about this a whole lot. But as a bonus, just for our customers inside this system, we've built out a long-term nurture sequence that's just designed for your past client database, where we've got these really friendly messages that we have you pre-record right up front. We do it on the intake call with you. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. We give you the scripts, help you record it, and it just drips out real soft on your past customer database to generate those incoming referrals from your past clients. That's a special bonus you get that when you invest today as well. And all your existing campaigns. So every single campaign that we build for you, we're going to hook it up with a custom follow-up sequence and we can help you take care of your Zillow leads, your Boomtown leads, your Commission Inc. leads, all those leads as well. So what you do right now is go to www.loansonfb.com. Go to www.loansonfb.com. There's going to be a payment page that pops up. Go ahead, fill out all your information, put your credit card information in there, click submit. Once you do that, you're going to land on uh, an opt-in form, not an opt-in form, but like an intake call. If Intake call form where you fill out all the information about your campaign. Anything that you don't know or you don't have right now, no problem, just skip over it because you're going to be getting a call from our office very shortly where we're actually going to walk you through. We're going to book an appointment for you for half an hour, right? And we're going to walk you through the whole thing. So our regular price for this service is $2,497 for the setup. That covers the first 30 days on the program, the full campaign build of all those campaigns. Once that's done, right, after the first 30 days, it's $997 a month for the management of your campaigns your ad spend is on top of that. So ad spend that goes to Facebook is on top of that. And we require a minimum of $500 a month in ad spend on Facebook per campaign. So if you're running the real estate campaign, just one campaign, it's $500 a month in Facebook ads. So the setup fee is $2,497. That covers the first 30 days. And then after that, it's $997 per month for the management. Now we're discounting that $2,497 today. What I'm doing is I'm taking a thousand dollars off that setup price for today. So it's just $1,497 and $997 a month after that. The $1,497 covers the first 30 days. So when you go right now to www.loansonfb.com, 
it's $14.97 today. That's all you're going to be charged. That covers the setup, all the campaigns, the intake process, the setting up of the CRM system, programming the CRM system, putting all of the automated follow-up sequences in place, hooking up your Zillow, hooking up your commission sync, hooking up all those other systems, putting the database marketing system in place, right? All of that happens in the first 30 days and you get all of that for just $14.97. Now, once your campaigns, are up and running, everything's going. It's just $9.97 a month after that to maintain the whole system for you, plus whatever ad spend you have going to Facebook on top of that. So right now, go to www.loansonfb.com to invest today. It's just $14.97. Now, the one thing that I did want to mention there and why I got tripped up is because I was thinking about you coming through the queue and absolutely that is the way that we are launching this system out so when you go there and you submit your payment it goes into a line item and we go line item by line item because that's the only way to do it so this is kind of like first come first serve as we launch you out right so if you want to be at the top of the list make your payment and go through the process and again uh, when you go there it's just $14.97 now this is not for everybody and Carl I'm not trying to be abrasive or, or weird or anything. hey you know what real quick before you go into this I just want to say something I feel real passion about when, when, when we talk about the, uh, the, the investment uh, to get this thing started number one write small checks to cash big checks I can't overemphasize that that has made me and I say this very humbly and very gratefully that's made me a very wealthy man these days. And because I, because again, we're using this in my own branch. I think everybody knows here that I'm a, I'm actually a branch manager of a very successful uh, uh, mortgage branch. And, uh, and we're using this uh, in my own, uh, my own branch. The other thing I want to talk about just very briefly, Chris, I've seen people paying more than this price just for a course on how to do it, not actually doing it for you. And guys, gals, how many of you have on your shelf a cellophane wrapped course that you bought in the past and never even actually opened up? It, it, me too, right? I got, I got literally probably, a, literally probably a dozen of them myself, right? Just me too. The advantage of doing, see, this goes back into the asking who, not how. So instead of getting the how as a course, which by the way, Facebook ad changes like weekly, literally. By the time you get the course shipped to your house or you watch the training, it's changed. It's changed. You do not want to be figuring out how to do this on an ongoing basis because you're figuring out how instead of closing loans. And having somebody do it for you is absolutely, I can either A, read a book on how to fix the air conditioner in my car or B, go over here, write a small check and my air conditioner is fixed in a half an hour, right? Otherwise, if I'm trying to figure out, it lasts forever. So I just want to make sure we handle that. So let's go back into who this is not for. Yeah, thanks. So if you need closings today, it just doesn't work like that. This takes time. There's a, there's a 60 and 90 day window. Because these people have to come into the funnel, get pre-approved, go find a house, go through the process. Even the people that are coming in on the mortgage or the refinance funnel, there's still lead time on it. If you need money today, this is not for you, right? This is a business asset that you're going to use, again, to write small checks and cash big checks for years to come. You can't look at this as a short-term solution or a band-aid to whatever is going on right now. If you need money right now, this is not for you. If you can't handle an influx of new customers, if you're like, if I get one more inbound phone call in my business, I'm going to blow up right now. This is not for you. You got to make sure that you can actually. Because this will generate incoming calls. Yeah. So you got to be ready, right? So the last thing we want is for you to stub your toe on that. If you don't have an advertising budget, if you're like, oh, I'm going to grow my business, but you know, I, I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm going to grow my business. This is not for you. You actually have to have money set aside to invest in your business and have a growth target of what you're trying to hit. Um, Cause we need that to be able to help you plan out your budgets and get you to your goals. Now, who this is for, if you've tried advertising on Facebook in the past and it did not work today is the day let's do this right. Okay. That's we've got the CRM for you. We've got the ad campaigns that work. We've got the structure this is it. Today is your day. If you've bought training and not implemented, just like Carl said, and again, you know, we've all, we've all done it. That's the, that's why that conversation was so impactful on me, Carl, of it's not how it's who 
this is for you. And if you're already spending $500 a month on Facebook ads, anything above and beyond that, just our optimization systems to be able to lower your cost per lead and increase the quality of leads that you have coming through your funnel is worth the investment in the program. Um, so that's absolutely for you. So www.loansonfb.com. Now I've got some additional bonuses for you today when you invest. So we've set up a private Facebook group just for our clients and customers. And this is just so that we can all collect around the system. I can give you new information about what's happening, help train you, help make you better, just give you that added value so that we can stay in communication with each other and just help you uh, grow even better. And this is things like just seeing how other loan officers are processing the deal, seeing how other loan officers are working the systems, right? It's just better for us to be together as a community. The second thing that I'm doing is the full Agent Legend LO setup. I think that's the first time we've actually mentioned the name of it. So what we've done is we've actually got our own version of this system called Agent Legend, and it's just for the mortgage business. And it's uh, we've written all the follow-up campaigns, all of the sequences. We set the whole thing up for you. You also get a 30-minute quick start session where we help map out all your campaigns, help you record your voicemails, and really take care of the whole thing for you. If you need more than 30 minutes, no problem. Your account managers are going to make sure that you get all the time that you need during the intake, but it can be done in 30 minutes, and that's what we plan for. Bonus number two, is lead follow-up training. So every two weeks, we have a training where I'm going through and showing you, again, best practices for how to make your mortgage business this lead converting machine, right? Showing you how to make the best of this system. Then the free report that I mentioned on campaign number two, we've got a template for you to take and just quickly modify so that you're actually producing your own free report that has real value in your marketplace. We help you craft the whole thing and then train you essentially on how you can leverage that into other areas and other aspects of your business to generate more leads. And there's no contract to sign. You can cancel at any time. There's no weirdness going on. We're here, we truly believe in the mortgage business and that we're here to earn your business every month. That's why I want you tracking your campaign metrics. You have to see dollars in, dollars out, right? We want that for you so that it's very easy to maintain yourself on our services. We earn your business every month. That, and of course I've got a guarantee for you. If you're not 100% satisfied, you can cancel at any time and you keep all of the campaigns inside your Facebook advertising account. Uh, there is a small subscription fee for the Agent Legend LO system if you decide to keep it after that, but you can cancel that at any time as well. So you're totally protected when you invest in the system today. It's all good. And uh, these are things, again, this is an asset that's going to grow your business for years to come. So I would love to work with you right now. Go to www.loansonfb.com. Fill out your information, make the payment, get in the queue. You're going to get a call from our office very shortly to help walk you through the onboarding process and book your intake call. And I'm absolutely thrilled and looking forward to having you as part of the program. So uh, with that, Carl, sorry, I get a little bit excited <laughs> at Dude, that point. Really good stuff. And, and we're going to do some Q&As here for, uh, for a few minutes. I've got some great questions coming in. Uh, and I just want to make, give complete clarity uh, that, uh, that I'm definitely going to be involved in the Facebook group page, right? As a branch manager, uh, you know, I'm going to be on that page too. And, uh, and also I'm, I'm going to be honored to on this every two week, uh, training, uh, that Chris is going to be doing that I'm going to be involved uh, with that process too. So on the, uh, the newest and best practices, of the Facebook ads, newest, best practice of, of uploading your boomtown leads and your Zilla leads and this new formats, uh, new, uh, new, new process has come available. Uh, you're going to be on the cutting edge of this and you're not going to be, you're not going to be shipped out a, a, a book on here, go figure this out uh, that Chris and his team actually sets it up for you just like he does for uh, the loan officers in my own personal branch. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. A couple questions here. Uh, let's see. This is coming in from uh, Robert. Uh, good to see you here, Robert. Uh, Robert says, uh, hey, Chris, great question. Robert says, uh, Chris, uh, which campaign do you recommend we run first? What's the first Facebook campaign you recommend a loan officer run? That is a, that is a great question. And I would say that it actually depends on the 
the business structure. So what's your main goal? What's your main focus right now? If you're going out and getting real estate referral partners, absolutely either the open house campaign or we've got a buyer's campaign that works exceptionally well uh, using Messenger. So I would focus your campaigns on generating real estate leads if realtors are your main focus. If you're trying to set up more realtor referral relationships because they work exceptionally well. And now that the automation is on the back end, it's just another value add that goes out to those people. So definitely focused on real estate. If you are not necessarily building your business that way and you're focused more direct to market, absolutely take that free report all day long. Uh, and then we've got actually a little chat campaign that our customers get that we didn't cover here during the webinar where we're using live chat in addition to that free report campaign that's doing a great job of just direct market leads that you're on the phone with in less than 24 hours. It's just a really quick converting campaign. Um, and if you're going direct to market, that's the one that I would start with. So kind of two pathways, right? Like real estate on one side, mortgage on the other side, everybody should be doing the database retargeting. That's just hands down. Everybody should do that. So uh, yeah, I, I could, I couldn't agree more that the, you, you know, it's, it's, it's like we, um, like on our past database, we all know we should be calling our past database. We just don't know what to say or, you know, maybe it's been five years since we called them. We think it'd be weird. Uh, so again, this has a campaign built into it that you upload your past database into it and they're going to get a voicemail, which I personally have scripted out. It's the exact same voicemail we give to our past database in my branch that a voicemail gets dropped into their voicemail with your voice, by the way, uh, uh, for your past database. And this voicemail turns, it's totally cool. They get that automatically uh, four times per year. We found that's the best number to do it. And, and that alone, uh, it's been my experience, has just been a huge part of my business. I found out a long time ago, I'm not in the mortgage business. I'm in the marketing to my database business. And uh, there's no quicker way to build your database than this. All right, uh, next comment, question coming up. This is from, let's see, I'm just reading here live. We got that. We covered that. This is from uh, Julia. Julia's saying, um, oh, great question. I like the way you think, Julia. Uh, Julia saying, uh, Chris, I have multiple real estate offices that I'm currently doing business with. Can I generate leads for all of them using this system? So that is a great question. And the answer is absolutely yes, you totally can. Um, and the way that it works is like each individual marketplace needs its own campaign. We include three campaigns in the system and then any additional campaign above and beyond that is just, uh, it's just a hundred dollars a month for management just to essentially cover our costs uh, to manage the, the campaign for you. We actually lose a little bit, but we want you to be able to scale. If we can get you to scale where you've got more realtors that are paying for more ads on your system, that's what we, I mean, that's just beautiful for you and your business. So we want to support you with that. So yeah, yeah scale is as big as you want. And, and you know what, there's a, there's a, actually somebody just made a comment here, uh, which we've totally seen that too. Um, they made a comment uh, where uh, they're, uh, they're contacting the, and, and we, we talked about this at the last Freedom Club meeting uh, that, that you, uh, you were kind enough to come uh, hang out with us at, Chris, um, that uh, we're having people um, like on, on these Boomtown leads and these Zillow leads like the loan officer's not even paying for those leads. It's the realtor has them. They're buying these leads. And nobody's calling up on them. So they're converting them into things. And we did, we talked about those a couple of guys and a couple of gals during the last freedom club meeting talked about this very same thing. And uh, so it's not like you have to go pay for everybody's leads. You're converting the leads they're already getting. So uh, great stuff. I know uh, Tyler Osby, uh, I, I know uh, was talking about that. He's, uh, he's already doing that and it's working out very well for him. Okay. Next question. Um, uh, this is coming from uh, Mark. Hey Mark, glad to see you here. Mark's asking, Oh, is the automated follow-up system included in with the 997 Chris? Great. So yeah, absolutely. Great question. I should have laid that out. Yes, it is. The, the 997 covers everything uh, on the program. All right. Uh, this is from Larry. Larry's asking, uh, hey, Carl, or Chris, I'll let you answer. He directed me, but I'll let you answer it. Uh, hey, hey, guys, uh, the follow-up campaign that generates deals for my past database, number one, can I run that without running Facebook ads? And number two, do you also set that up for me too? Okay. So, uh, so yes and yes. So yes, you can run it with all the different lead types. Yes, absolutely. We'll set the whole thing the whole thing up for you. 
Yeah. So uh, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. Susan. Susan's asking, uh, uh, I just want to clarify, there's no contract to sign and I can, I can cancel at any time. And when I cancel, I can actually keep all the training that I've currently received. Let's see, what's it? And, uh, and I get to keep the campaigns. Yes. So yeah, yes. obviously we yes. want you to stick around. That's the whole idea, but cause you'll get, you know, new campaigns as they come in, but you're absolutely right. The guarantee, uh, court, you got the training. It's in your head. We can't, take it away from you. You're right. You already know it. And the campaigns, again, they're in your Facebook account. So yeah, you can, you can keep the campaigns in your Facebook account. Um, let's see, let me just grab one more. Uh, see, we got, we answered most of these, I think. Um, uh, here's one, Michelle, Michelle saying, uh, Oh, great question. Michelle's asking, Hey, Chris, how much money does Facebook require to run these ads and how do I control my spending on the, on the ads? That is a great question. So inside the campaign manager, you can totally set a daily budget and control what your ad spend is on Facebook. So it's not like you give them your credit card and it's just, they go to town. Um, you can have a, a minimum budget of $5 a day on Facebook. And so you can totally control the ad spend inside there once you start running your ads. My recommendation is that you just don't, don't start it, stop it, start it, stop it. Run the campaign as consistently as you possibly can to continually give Facebook data because that's, uh, that's going to help make your campaigns perform better. The longer you run these campaigns, the better they'll perform for you. So uh, small budgets and you have total control over it. All right, cool. All right, guys, uh, man, this comes with my strongest recommendation cause we're, again, I'm actually using this in, uh, in my own uh, mortgage branch uh, with my loan officers and it's, it's, it's working out for us extremely well. And again, uh, the, those that sign up first, we're going to turn, you know, Chris and his team is going to work on yours first and get yours first to market. So if you want to be the, you know, the, on the cutting edge and the early bird on this stuff, uh, get registered with this right away and we'll start, uh, we'll start the campaign right away. Because in, in, there's actually a lot of work to be done. You just don't have to do it. Chris's, Chris's team does it on your behalf. And, and, and just being honest, it's, you know, you've only got, while, while you have a team of 19 people, that strictly does this 100% for loan officers and loan officers only. There's no other distraction for you. So you stay on the cutting edge of, of what works best for the loan officers. There's a lot of work to be done by your team on each account. And because since you don't tell them how to do it, even though you're happy to do that, you actually do it for them, right? That's so they right. can actually be going out and closing on these loans while you're, while you guys are setting up. Because there's a lot of time involved with your team setting it up. It's first yeah, time reserved. It's first time reserved. Get oh, yeah. registered first year today. First year. You're going to turn on their, their accounts first and you're going to do it for them first. So uh, have we, have we missed anything here, Chris? You think we've, uh, we got some other questions coming in here, but I think we've covered most all of them. And again, if you have a question, hey, let's do this. If you have a question we didn't answer today, just, just go to loans on uh, get started on the system. Uh, if during the intake call you find out, Hey, uh, gee, I didn't think about this. I, I don't know what that would be, but I didn't think about this. I, I don't think I want to do this after all or something like that. It's totally okay. You know, you can cancel any time. You know, if, if, if during the uh, during the setup, uh, you find out that there's something you didn't think about uh, and you don't want to do this, of uh, course you're going to get a refund. Of course you're going to get a refund. Of course you're going to get a refund. So during your strategy call that you're getting with Chris's team as you set up your account, uh, number one, you can ask any question you want. Number two, it'll t it, you can have as much of their time as you want on getting set up. And again, at any part of the setup period, you find out that there's you know, I don't know, you, 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 you decided you don't want to increase your income because uh, you'll increase how much taxes you're paying or, or something like that. Uh, of course you can cancel. And of course you'd get a refund uh, during the setup process. If there's anything comes up, that would uh, be great. I don't know what that would be. So again, we're using this in mind, but just complete clarity, anything you want more information on, just go to loans on FB.com and start it and they'll answer any question that you have. Uh, and they're a really sharp crackpot team. Uh, cause I think everybody knows I could use anybody I wanted to. And frankly, I have the income to hire anybody I wanted to, and that I would actually hire Chris as my person and then partner up with him on this. Um, I, it just, it puts my statement on my belief of you and your, you and your team, Chris, you guys are outstanding. And, uh, dude, I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate you helping my loan officers in my branch. And I appreciate you helping me personally, brother. Couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful for the day that we met. Well, 
well, that makes two of us, Carl, and we're happy to help. We love <laughs> running ads and, uh, and making these systems work. I mean, the best part is what comes after the, <laughs> like the, the call, like, the, Hey, look, I'm, I'm funding loans. That's, you know, our account managers, although we're all nerdy in our own right, we're all people. And that's the best part of our job. You know what I yeah. mean? So um, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Cool. All right, guys. So uh, go to loans on FB.com comes with a guarantee. Uh, I personally stand behind this. Um, I believe in it because I'm actually doing it myself. And and yes, I actually pay for, uh, actually pay for uh, the Facebook you know, ads and everything Facebook too, of course. Ads and everything too uh, but just like the um, example you gave with Chris earlier, where he's getting a 507% return on his investment, you know, in his case for every, uh, you know, dollar he's putting in, he's getting, you know, $5 back. It's like, if you do, you know, imagine finding something like that that works like that in your business, man, when you find something that gives you a, uh, for every dollar you put in, you get $2 or $3 or in Chris's case, $5 back, uh, man, you want to, you want to work that machine until you just freaking wear it out, right? You want to just really, just really put that into use. So it's, uh, it's been a very good thing. So, all right, guys, Hey, thanks so much for being here today. We, Chris and I appreciate you spending your time with, uh, ran a little over, but this is such great information. We're incredibly passionate about it. This is one of the new ways to, uh, to work your mortgage business in a way that's scalable, way that's scalable. perhaps that perhaps. You've, you've never seen before, never seen before. Uh, ever. Uh, ever. Uh, it's really, really it's cool really, really stuff. And people have been trying to figure out how to crack the Facebook code. And they had a, a lot of the pieces. Never has it been has all it been in one package, package, everything together with the ongoing support. Looking forward to seeing the Facebook group. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate the trust. And uh, we'll see you on the web. Uh, Chris, uh, anything we've, we've left out? Oh, that's everything. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the training and we'll chat soon. Bye, everybody. Right. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.